Welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me. I'm the host of this video, Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Delridge. I got the sexy, my sexy wife behind the camera there. Raise hell, super sexy, 69, 69, 69. Um, we're here, we're gearing up for uh, Christmas. I know um, some people this doesn't mean much uh, much to you. Um, it means a lot to me. I wasn't raised religious. Um, for me, it's all about Santa Claus. I'm not agnostic. I'm not an atheist. I just, it's just not, it's just not part of my trip at all. Don't, I, you know, when I was younger, I'm fuck the church, fuck this, fuck that. I really, I don't really care. Whatever brings you peace and comfort and if you find that in the church um you know bless you that's that is that's fine for you just don't try to uh, push your push your beliefs on me and uh we're gonna get along just fine um so we're we're gearing up for um our santa versus satan um christmas eve uh party here um of course we are a little a little bit worried with you know everything that's going on but we have we have a lot of space here um we're gonna move a little bit of it outside and um We'll kind of see how it goes. Um, we've been we've been testing the cocktails. We had uh, Mr. Snowman that we've tested. Um, we tested the mistletoe. Um, you guys didn't see that one. We tested the Saint Nick. We tested the Mrs. Claus. Satan's whiskers. I don't know if we've done that before in the past. That's that's an old that's an old classic, and that's also in uh, cocktails to mix drinks from the Wicker Bar. Satan's whiskers. Uh, there's one version where they're straight whiskers, another one where they're curled. One has Cointreau, one has Grand Marnier. Go figure it out for yourself. Um, this one that we're doing this evening, this one's called Figgy Pudding. Um, this is very, very similar to um, the one I did a couple of months ago where I made some uh, persimmon syrup. And I did kind of kind of like a, uh, a play on a daiquiri. Um, so I made some fig syrup um, out of some uh, fig jam and a little bit of simple syrup there. Um, we have some lime juice. We have some rum. And we forgot to, this glass right here, we forgot to throw this one away. This one got a little bit chipped. That's the one I'm going to use. I felt I felt the chips. I don't think it's, it's anything that's going to cut my lip. Um, so, shall we make this happen? Ho, 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 ho! I'm worried this because I'm, I'm one of the three wise men. Mother, motherfuckers, yeah. Knocking on your door. Yeah, I missed out. Luckily, I didn't get too stoned to just go ahead and pull the trigger on that other uh, James Bond, uh, B-A-R-K. Um, attache case that um, was in the box. Luckily, I've been looking at that for about three weeks. Luckily, the guy pulled it off of eBay. I think he probably sold it um, outside of the world of eBay. You know, they don't really like you to do that. Used to be quite popular, though. Um, so this is for two. Keep that in mind. We're going for uh, four ounces of our, uh, just a little light, light, uh, our light plantation rum here. And I've got just the little dregs of lime juice here in this bottle. I know I always say uh, one and a half ounces of lime juice. I know I always say do fresh squeezed, but um, we've kind of actually limited the number of cocktails we're having when we do the fresh squeezed juice. It, I mean, it's costly. We just end up throwing it away. Although the, the lemon and the lime do last a little bit longer than the orange juice, I do find. Okay. One and a half ounces of lime juice. Two... Ounces of our fig syrup. I mean, if this cocktail is really tasty, I might have to buy make some more of this tomorrow. It's not going to go. It's not going to last last long. All right. How do you like this? I had to make a little menu here because I'll only be operating as the bartender on Christmas Eve for just a short period of time, and then after that, if you're into a cocktail, um, you're on your own. And actually, really technically, when we do these soirees, there's really only a few people that actually enjoy a cocktail. Most other people are drinking beer or uh, wine. We will have the eggnog. I already talked about that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's been a while. About a week. Week, I mean like week. W-E-E-K. Not like I'm weak. W-E-A-K. Figgy pudding is what I'm calling this one. I did see there were a couple other recipes that were that were doing doing something very very similar, um, and they were just um, just doing strictly the fig jam in there. I was just afraid it just wasn't gonna uh, get as blended up as you're gonna end up with chunks of, of fig jam. I thought that would be a little off-putting. Rail? Oh yeah, squeeze through there, baby. Yeah, see those nails? 
You know, I do rails nails. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I used to do, I used to uh, do the foil thing with their hair where you put part of the hair in, a, in foil. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I'm trying to. That'd be good with vodka too. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll we'll add that as a, as an extra. We got we have fully fully stocked bar. Um. Thank you very much from the Wicker Bar. We're getting kind of we're getting ready to uh, uh, wrap up the year 2021 2022. Shit's gonna be going down. Um. You know, I'm gonna be old man. <laughs> um. Santa versus Satan, part three. Sorry, that wasn't supposed to be anything like that. Um, part three is going to be happening here, Christmas Eve. Those of you that, are, that got the special magic envelope, your golden ticket into the party. So today, today I went and uh, Rail, this is my, my social commentary for the day. Um, Rail likes the Seahawks. Sorry, they lost last night. It was terrible. Um, so I was going to look for another Seahawks ornament. I've gone to a store in downtown Seattle where I've bought them for three Christmases before. And I go in there and I look around and there's two young fellows kind of chit-chatting behind the counter there. And um, I, I say to them, I say, uh, so you don't have any um, Seahawks ornaments this year? And the one fellow, one fellow said no. And the other fellow, under his breath, said we never have told him to go fuck himself like many many times the store is very packed he's lucky i didn't clout him you know what a clout is when you get a clout on the ear it's like that it's like enough to it's enough to burst your fucking eardrum anyway um peace out peace happiness enjoy to all we will be back today is wednesday wiener wednesday um sorry we didn't get in any wiener action but tomorrow is uh gonna do it rails went up there making cookies and just Chex mix and it's just gonna be a joyous and <sighs> colorful and gay affair but anyway thank you very much for joining us here at the wicker bar don't forget i mean we're close we are so close to 300 so close to 300 subscribers actually i need a thousand so i get to monetize this bitch but um go ahead a little christmas a little something put in somebody's christmas stocking you know, a little something. Yeah, you know, just go ahead and subscribe to the Wicker Bar. All right. Peace out. We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, the day before Christmas Eve.